Hi, so it was about a week from the last video and there are many changes actually. So first of all, if you open Blender and you export your scene, what you can see is the temperature attribute. Flame, temperature and density. So you can render some better quality work. Next, let's launch JFlow. So as you can see, something looks different. And yes, this is a new render engine. Now, it is much, much better. And how much, you may ask? So, let's put, for example, 1000 samples to get those little details. And as I can see, I've got about 25 FPS. So, why is that? Because now, with tons of thousand samples, it is 30 times faster than the old renderer. And if I enable that, this is the old one. So as you can see, the fire is almost not visible. It's like those two white dots and it looks like shit and it's slow as hell. And with the new render engine, it's fast. And if I reduce the shadow quality, it will be up to 150 times faster. And it looks much better because it's ray traced. And it's better ray traced than the old one. So yeah, these are some new things. What's next is now after enabling launching JFlow, you can choose if you want to use your which one of the GPUs you want to choose. And in the previous versions it was always using the GPU number one zero on the PCI bus. And now it's fixed so it can choose whether which one is the best or you can specify which one you want to choose in the command line. What's next is uh, yeah what next is if you had this sliders with position in previous versions it was changing uh, but only on the maximum value and now the minimum and maximum values are separated with my own code because I am GUI just had one maximum and one minimum value for all of those and now these are different with some modifications so it may cause some bugs but it should not what's next now I'm using a 4k screen and as you can see, uh, I had a DPI scale change to 1.5 and JFlow after launching automatically scaled that to 1.5. You can change it manually, but on 1080p screen it should change to 1. So DPI scaling is there. I hope it works on 1080p screen. I don't know now because it chooses uh, the DPI of the main screen. So if someone could ch look at that, uh, it would be great. Uh, what's next? There are several, a lot of bug fixes, but what's interesting more is that now let's open some another scene. Now this. Uh, explosion emitter is now animated. It expands out. Uh, for now you cannot change how fast it is etc etc. It will be changed in the future. I want to make the entire animation system. But for now it is what it is. And yeah. So uh, what's more you can change how, mu uh, how much velocity 
this expansion adds. So now, when I change that, you can see it expands much more based on the velocity it was given. So it is also in the very experimental phase, but it is there. There are also some other things. Oh, it's it will be mixed a lot. Uh, there are also some changes in the settings. I mean, you've got like this influence of velocity, max velocity. Here you've got uh, those additional options like fire multiply and density and shadow quality and if you and I disable shadows render you can change the transparency compensation so yeah there are a lot of visual changes and here you can like apply current sizes initial so maybe I will do the tutorial later but for now these are the main changes so yeah hope you like it and Peace.